So, uh, this is Alex, and you are going to be watching me work over the last few days on my pixel art. Um, after my chat, I did a load of research, and I decided that I was going to be inspired by one of my favourite films, The Fifth Element. Um, it has some really evocative pictures and images, uh, amazing background arts, a really uh, easy to spot protagonist or couple of protagonists in Lilu and Corbin, uh, both of whom have quite strong visual identities. Um, it's inspired loads of really great artwork and um, it also has an amazing scene in it where, first of all, the character jumps through the city, vertical city streets um, and lands in the back of Corbin Dallas's taxi cab. And then following that, there is a great uh, car chase. So I was heavily inspired to make my racer from doing that. Uh, and the first thing I did was pull up some reference images. And you can see me here looking at this particular reference image and working it all out in pen. Uh, looking at what I'd like my Lilu character to look like. Um... And when I'd done that, I, I sort of put that to one side. I was quite happy with what I'd done and decided that um, before I moved on, it was probably time to have tea. So... Uh, what you're watching now is a clip from the film and you can see the taxi cab and the police cars giving chase. Uh, you have I sat and watched this for a while and worked my way through and looking at all of the imagery in it, tried to find pictures and screen caps uh, that I could work from. Um, obviously there's a lot going on, there's a lot of images, a lot of different screens. Um, but I used this as my reference material uh, and kept coming back to it every time I was trying to do the design work. And so I've got this really clear vision in my head. And the great thing about this is it's, a, it's an amazing film. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. Um, really fun action-adventure film uh, from the director of Luc Besson. Um, more recently, he's done the film Valerian, which is also uh, quite a fun and uh, sort of sci-fi romp. Um, but to my knowledge, because when it came out, I don't think anyone ever made a video game inspired by The Fifth Element. Which is crazy, because it's such a classic, like it's funny, it's full of action, it's full of like these amazing set pieces, there's some amazing characters... There's some great dialogue. There's a really uh, like important plot. Um, so I thought it was it was crazy. Um, so this is the scene, the, the section where I'm like really considering uh, what I think my game, what I'd like my game to look like. So at the moment you've got that, and then he turns and goes down, and now you're driving down uh, through all of these different intersecting. Uh, angles of the streets and they're trying to get to the base and, and disappear into the fog um, so I was thinking that's exactly the kind of uh, racer that I've got in mind of like top down and you're flying downwards through the tops of all of these cars um, so uh, and just yeah just really fun imagery so there's the top of the taxi cab, there's some pictures of the uh, tops of the cars, which I also started to design. So I was thinking like tops of cars, maybe some trucks, some buses, uh, lots of different colours. Um, but before I moved on to doing any of those kinds of pixels, I was like, I'm going to have to start by making the cars. Um, so the taxi cab which will be the uh, the main thing, and then the police car that might uh, pop up here and there to try and stop them. 
Uh, and here you can see perfect the front of the two of those side by side. Um, uh, and you can see now again we're back onto my images of uh, my, me working through it. Everything's in uh, fast speed so that you don't have to see the process. Uh, but you can see I've already done the front of the taxi cab there and now I'm working my way through onto the police car. Um, and I found the police I found the taxi cab actually quite quite easy to do uh, in the end because uh, because it had just such a strong identity um, and such a strong like set of colors um, I think I'm using like four or five colors um, maximum uh, so similar to sort of Mario um, just to to highlight bits of it because otherwise it would be quite a lot of the same color block uh, so I've got like a different color yellow in there to um, to break it up and a different colored silver or gray in there as well to to break up the grays um, and all I've done because I was doing everything on pencil to start with uh, is I've gone round with a with a sharpie where the color changes are um, so that it speeds up the process of then transferring it across and you can see I'm basically doing the same thing here with the police car which is um, I have I've gone for the same two tones of silver I've gone for two tones of blue and then white and red just to um, to, to pop that out um, and then I quickly go around it all so that I can see um, the whole thing and it means that like the design here has taken I think probably a total of about 10 minutes but then when I come to move it all across onto Piskel, um it's a much quicker process because I've got my design already done it's just a case of transferring it across um, so here I have I've done the front of the police car and then finally I've decided uh, I've got one other thing I might want to do um, I can't quite like manipulate and show the exact same thing that's in the film but I had this idea of like there's a bit maybe where the police car pulls up alongside and you see the side view of the car um, and then like a door opens in the police car and uh yeah, I couldn't work out what to do at that point, but I knew that I wanted this police car side view. So I started doing that as a pencil drawing. Um, and it looked a bit, it was a bit, it was a bit weird. It was a bit squished. Uh, and then I realized it was a bit too fat. So um, it doesn't really look a car. It looks more like a boat at this point in time, which kind of makes sense. So I then started started to just manipulate a few things to, to, to fiddle around with that and make it a bit smaller. And at this point, I was like, you know what? Now is the time. I think I need to get Piscal open and I need to start working on the video. So you should see at this point that I'll transition out of this and we jump into the Piscal frame. Um, and you can see I'm starting to draw out basically exactly what I had before um, down to the fine detail. Um, it's a little, this is a, this is not sped up. This is the actual speed in which I worked. Um, and I've just done it all slowly, bit by bit. Um, what I tried to do just for my own sanity, because I was trying to do this all to a deadline because I wanted to... Um, to try and finish this design in the uh, the five minutes that I had where I could screen cap. Um, so I tried to do everything in one, in each colour. Uh, so I did all of the blue bits first and then uh, once I'd worked out exactly which bits needed to be blue, I moved on to a different colour um, and uh, did all of that until it was, it was finished. Um, and this was just the very basic starting blocks for what I was doing. Um, now, inevitably, what I'm drawing here, because I'm carrying it across from the piece of paper, isn't the final piece. Um, I've then gone back to it afterwards and I've gone, I think with all of these, actually, having drawn them out, I was like, ah, they're not wide enough. Um, and because Piskel has more space uh, and is a wider grid than the grids that are on the printed off sh sheet, 
uh, that meant that I was able to like split them up a little bit and um, and just make them all bigger. Uh, so that is what I did. You can see me making that decision right now. I've been like, oh, actually, I've slightly changed the layout of things. Uh, there's my reference. So I, I, again, even at this stage, whilst I'm I'm looking at what I've designed on the paper, I've still got it open on a screen, uh, and I'm looking at an image from the film, just to um, see if it mirrors what I want the whole thing to look like. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is I'm going to jump ahead a little bit and show you what I've actually created in the end. Um, so you can see I've got my four main pieces here, uh, which are the front and back of my taxi and uh, the side bit that I was talking about where I've made it a little bit more squat and then the front of the police car. Um, and you can see that I've... Uh, I've added a little bit of uh, animation into it. At the moment, you can't quite see what those are. Uh, but here's a little mouse over to show you what we've got. Um, we'll start with the front of the taxi. Now, the front of the taxi doesn't do much particularly exciting. Um, but you can see I've spread it out a little bit, made it a little bit wider than the design that I had on the uh, piece of paper. Uh, and if you look over on the screen on the side here, you can see uh, up at the top what it looks like. Uh, all it does is these lights come on on this one. Uh, really simple, just a simple basic design where you can see on the frames on the side, half of them uh, down to like frame seven is uh, no light. And then the last five has lights come on. Um, and I can I can change that if I wish to. Um, however, uh, let's look at one of the other ones. Um, now I've I've done a little bit more with the back of the cab. I'm still not entirely happy with it. I still think it looks a bit too big, um, too high in comparison to the rest of it. So um, I might I might widen it out a little bit again. Uh, at some point, make it a couple of pixels wider, uh, just so that it doesn't seem quite so fat. Um, but you can see, uh, and it's it's a sort of slightly more complicated one this time. Um, what happens is uh, the taxi is driving along with its light on, which means it's ready to pick someone up, uh, and then the uh, brake lights come on, the light goes off. Um, and then it shoots these jets out the back. Um, now, I'm not entirely happy with that one. I think it's a little bit too quick, uh, but it is me attempting to recreate uh, a scene in the actual movie, uh, which is when Lilu crashes into the cab and he slams the brakes on and the light ping pings off to show that he's collected a passenger. Um, very silly, uh, but just a little, a little thing there for me to enjoy making as part of the animation. Um, the police car, I think it's worth looking at this one fully, uh, is, let's, let's see the pop-up, I don't know whether you can see the pop-up, no, you can't, um, but we can see it up here in the corner. is um, basically just toggles between the red and blue lights um, and and sort of moves around red, blue and white. And then there's these also these like pew, um, as it sort of stabilizes floating in midair. Um, and that's me again, just thinking about that scene. Uh, I think I showed it earlier in the video where you've just got all of the police cars just sort of stacked on top of each other. Um, so I could see these being sitting there either in the foreground or in the background um, and then finally uh, and you saw there also I uh, I had attempted to write police but in 8-bit 
um, so you could just see the look. Uh, and I tried to make it look quite real at first, but then it didn't quite look right. So then I've I just made a few extra amendments just to to make it look a bit. It, now it could be saying police, it could say NYPD, it could say patrol, it could say anything. Uh, I just thought a little bit there to make it look like some words. And then finally. We have this one, and you can see this one's got 49 frames, and it's at 12 frames per second, so there's quite a lot going on in this one. Um, let's see if we can view it. There we are, so that's what it looks like. And you'll see the door slides open, a man steps up, raises his arm, and then we assume uh, something's fired, um, and then the door shuts. Now... At the moment, I haven't quite finished working out what that was going to do because it just jumps, jump cuts to the end and starts again at the beginning. Um, I might have him duck, duck back, and then the door close, um, or I might have him shoot a couple of times and then have that happen. Uh, but I haven't quite finished playing with that one yet. Also thinking about possibly uh, also adding in the um, the wording. All the kind of figures that made it look like it said NYPD or police on the side there. Um, and I haven't yet flashed lights, so I want the lights to change colour as well. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty happy with what I've managed to achieve so far. Um, there's a lot more work still to do, but I feel like I'm starting to really get a handle on what it um, could look like. Um, and with the exception of a few bits where I've got some occasional like little edits to make by and large i'm not fiddling with it too much uh, which is always a good sign um, i've got some sketches as well i'm just gonna put this over my face um of what some of the uh, top down stuff might look like so there's a couple of extra cars uh, and a bus um but otherwise it's been a pretty interesting start to the project uh, and I'm fairly happy with that. I'm definitely going to be spending a lot more time in Piskel over the next few days uh, when I've got spare time, just uh, making a few more assets, thinking about what that might look like. Um, I've been I've been working on um, my Lilu as well, who might be my main protagonist. Oh no, not that one. Can't get it right every time, guys. Um, so we've got our Lilu here and I've deleted her. How annoying. Uh, oh well, you know, nobody's perfect. Uh, but, but very much based on the drawing that you saw earlier. Um, I'm going to play around and see what's gone on there, see whether I can, uh, get her back. Um. But otherwise, that is the end of my first week. And um, yeah, it's been fun. If you want to join in, if you want to carry along, please check out the rest of our videos. Um, or look out for the stuff from the National Video Game Museum. Uh, they're on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Or you can go to their website, uh, which is uh, thenvm.org. Uh, where you've got all of the assets, the stuff that we're learning about. Um, please keep joining us. And um, yeah, hopefully you're going to enjoy the rest of the videos. Take care for now.